Hello everyone. I am Dr. Tirumurthy Madhavan, working as an associate professor, Department of Genetic Engineering, SRM Institute of Science and Technology. Today, we are going to understand the importance of molecular doping in computer-aided drug discovery. Okay, what is molecular docking? Molecular docking is hugging. Hugging between the protein and small molecules or hugging between protein, protein, molecule. Basically, by using this molecular docking, we can be able to understand the interaction between the receptor and small molecules are receptor and receptor interaction. So this is the basic definition for molecular docking. It is a process by which two molecules are put together in three dimensional space. By using this methodology, we can able to understand the best ways to put two, molecule, two molecules together in three dimensional space. This methodology, which is extremely useful in computer-aided drug discovery process. So we have like a other a basic understanding about the molecular docking also. Basically, it is a conformational sampling procedure, means various docked conformations are explored to identify the right one. So what will be the various um, sampling uh, procedure? We can use for Monte Carlo or genetic algorithm or simulated handling or molecular dynamics method. So this various sampling procedure methods, they give accurate results in scoring function. But the main problem is it takes a lot of computational time. That is one of the major limitations in this sampling procedure. So this molecular docking, which tries to predict the native position, orientation, and confirmation of small molecule with respect to some specific target molecule. So it is basically, it's a kind of search for the most energetically favorable binding force of a ligand to a macromolecular receptor. So what is the ultimate goal for the molecular docking? So we have to predict the structure of ligand and receptor complex accurately with respect to experiment. So that is, this is the fundamental uh, concepts or goal we can study in molecular docking. Okay, so why molecular docking? Docking which is um, used to understand the how protein and small molecules, how they interact, how they communicate. So this is one of the central to most of the biological process which is useful in the various cell signaling process. So if we want to perform molecular docking, we must have the structure of the particular receptor molecules so that we can able to understand the molecular interactions, which is extremely useful in structure-based drug design. So this is called as, um, this is one of the docking model. So docking basically, which works based on the concept of lock and key method where enzyme act as a lock and small molecules which act as a key only the particular enzymes will be activated with particular key or small molecule we used to say that small molecules are substrate anything see look at this docking model so by seeing this docking model we can help both molecular biology biologist as well as we can help medicinal chemist how we can design the small molecules how we can help the molecular biologist because when we perform molecular docking we can able to understand what are the important amino acids that is present in the particular receptor so molecular biology will understand that okay this particular protein we can able to give these are the important amino acid residues 
in the active site so that they can perform the site directed mutagenesis studies okay how we can help the medicinal chemist so usually medicinal chemist they will go for structure activity relationship studies right so which means that they have like a, a common scaffold so this common scaffold they try to modify only the functional um, functional groups by you by using this molecular docking uh, docking model we can able to give where medicinal chemists they can modify the functional moieties for the small molecules so by using this methodology we can help both molecular biologist as well as medicinal chemist every docking algorithm which works based on two algorithms one is searching algorithm another one is scoring function what is searching algorithm so this is an example of the searching algorithm basically it's a kind of path finding okay so what it will do so this searching algorithm it will generate number of ligand conformations in receptor so which means that they generate pool of conformation why this searching algorithm it is generating many many conformations because the searching searching algorithm it is not aware that which conformation that will be close to the native one so that is a reason searching algorithm it will generate pool of conformations so this is a look at this figure here so this is a single uh, small molecule but searching algorithm it is generated many many conformation for the single molecule right okay so how they generate the different types of conformations so they undergo the process called as sampling method so they go for rigid ligand docking or flexible ligand docking or flexible receptor docking what is rigid ligand docking rigid ligand docking means both receptor and small molecules they are rigid there is no conformation flexibility for the molecules right okay what about the flexible ligand docking in terms of flexible ligand docking the receptor molecules are rigid but the ligand molecule they undergo some kind of 3d rotation and 3d tra translation rotation so they have like a mini uh, minimum degrees of uh, degrees of freedom so they will generate many many conformation they have like flexibility ligand molecule they have flexibility but when we go for flexible receptor uh, docking receptor is somehow flexible especially um, uh, the active site regions they they give some kind of uh, flexibility and the ligand molecule they will go for completely uh, flexible so why we we have to bother about the sampling method because when we see that the biological systems they are actually they are more flexible but the docking program they have limitations so they, we cannot give complete flexibility for the receptor molecules because we have the limitations in the algorithm itself okay okay errors in sampling procedure and energy calculations which leads to error in structure prediction then how we can avoid sample failure the only way to avoid the searching algorithm failure is we have to generate as many as different types of conformation okay next to searching algorithm we have to understand scoring function what is scoring function scoring function which basically it is a kind of a mathematical method they used to predict the non covalent interactions of the two molecules between uh, enzyme and small molecules so it has uh, two major functions to direct the docking process to predict the binding affinity of final pose 
which means that the scoring function they calculate the non covalent interaction between the enzyme and small molecules in searching algorithm it will generate a pool of confirmation which means that it will generate many many confirmation but in terms of scoring function it will calculate the binding energy between the receptor and small molecules and then this scoring function based on the binding energy it will calculate the rank so this is the very 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 important um, um, purpose of scoring function okay how we can calculate the scoring function so there are uh, three different types of scoring function so we can use force field or we can use empirical scoring function or we can use knowledge based scoring function what is force field scoring function so they calculate the binding free energy by summation of van der waals and electrostatic interaction so this is best scoring function because it is suited to predict the correct binding force what about empirical scoring function they calculate the binding free energy by set of uh, parameters for example hydrogen bond uh, number of favorable uh, electrostatic interactions hydrophobic contacts and the shape complementary but one of the major limitations of empirical scoring function is they are unclear to predict different class of protein complex so this is one of the major limitations of empirical scoring function what about knowledge based scoring function basically it is a kind of combination of force field and empirical scoring function here they use atom wise interaction of protein ligand they are considered basically they are used to take the information from pdb structure so the interactions potentials are derived from known protein ligand from atom pair, pair, pairs so this is one of the important uh, um, scoring functions that they use in the almost every docking algorithm irrespective of any different types of docking algorithm whether it's a freely available software or commercially available software every docking program works only this two algorithm one is searching algorithm another one is scoring function but the way they handle the searching algorithm and scoring function it will be different okay what are the applications of structure based drug design in molecular docking so look at the figure here so this is one of the inhibitor called sorafenib so this sorafenib uh, they perform molecular docking by using this braf enzyme so after docking they understand the there is some kind of space available in the braf enzyme so before docking uh, they have checked the ic50 values for this <coughs> sorafenib it is a 98 nanomolar so during docking uh, results they understood further modification that can be done in chemical molecules small molecules after the inclusion of small molecule like some functional group in uh, in the braf inhibitor uh, for uh, like uh, sorafenib so the activity for uh, sorafenib which increased into 8 12 nanomolar okay what is the state of the art for molecular docking so there are three challenges in molecular docking one is predicting the binding mode of a known active ligand so most of the docking program they are successful in predicting the binding mode for the small molecules 90% of the docking program irrespective of freely available or commercial available software and identifying new ligands using virtual screening so docking program uh, that can be used one of the filtration criteria when you perform the virtual screening so we can eliminate the false positive results by using the molecular docking algorithms okay 
what is more difficult in molecular docking is predicting the binding affinities of related compounds from known active series. So when they uh, identify this technology, molecular docking program, pharmaceutical company, they were very happy that, okay, every day we can able to find out some kind of drug compounds. But later the software uh, they developed and they understand that every docking program have limitations because none of the docking program, they cannot accurately calculate the scoring function. Because scoring function, every scoring function have limitations, right? Because when we go for scoring function, we cannot calculate the, the uh, we cannot calculate the exact binding affinities because we are not implementing the flexibility for the receptor and small molecule, complete flexibility. So that's why after we perform molecular docking, it is advisable that we have to go for the molecular simulation method. So this is one of the big limitations in the molecular docking program. So what we can able to believe from molecular docking program is, we can believe the dog posts by uh, comparing with the experimental uh, informations, but we have to always verify the scoring function because every scoring function, they have limitations in calculating the binding affinities. Thank you everyone. If you have any doubts, you can mail me. Thank you.